Okay, we're gonna boot the Dell uh, R240 server up for the first time. And uh, so we see here we have the BIOS version 2.1.6. It's loading the drivers, um, etc. We have our enter menus here. Let's go ahead and do the F2, enter system setup. So as we see here, we're entering system setup. And here we have the system setup uh, main menu which has the system BIOS, iDRAC settings, and device settings. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the system BIOS. And here we have our system information, memory settings, processor settings, uh, SATA settings, etc. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the system information. We see our BIOS versions 2.1.6, our management uh, engine 5.1.3.94, our service tag number, our system uh, uh, CPLD version, and our U, uh, UEFI compliance version. And we have a, the option to go back. Our memory settings, 16 gigs of memory, ECC DDR4, Video memory, 16 megs. Let's hit the back. We got our system memory testing. So tab and back. Processor settings. Virtualization topology is enabled. Processor core speed, 3.8 gigahertz. Sit back. SATA settings. Capacity uh, is one terabyte. Let's see here. I don't have a mouse to scroll down. Let's just go down the page. Yeah, looks like some random information there below boot settings we've got the uh, boot mode bios uh, boot sequence and we also have the uh, here. sequence sees the hard drive uh, sata uh, and uh, embedded nick actually uh, organize those integrated devices Let's go down and look at the slot Set your baud rate, emulation, terminal type. It's like uh, performance, system profiles performance on, on out, of, out of the box. System security. Go down the list, see what's here. much there A redundant OS control none miscellaneous settings you got your system time if you need to change that system date uh, if you need to hard code an asset tag and finish Uh, actually hit no okay 
wanted to see the other two menus. Here we go. Hydrax settings. Looks like we have 4.0 uh, firmware and settings. System summary, advanced network alert, front panel security, life cycle controller, thermal, system location, user configuration, smart card, communication permissions, and system lockdown mode. And of course, there's probably plenty of reading material to dive into that. take a look at this one real quick so we do have life cycle uh, controller enabled uh, collect system inventory on restart it's enabled so that's good I, I know we were having some issues with it booting up so let's tab out let's take a look at our third option Uh, device settings. Embedded NIC, uh, port one. NIC two, port one. NIC in slot two, port one. NIC in slot two, port two. Let's see what they show. Okay, this just goes through the firmware configuration, etc. It's interesting if we could do any kind of bootstrap, auto detect, auto negotiate. Okay, probably some of the standard settings there. Let's tab out, finish. Let's let it boot back up. Finish. And finish again. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. 